So this video is going to be a little different than the normal videos that we have because I want to give you a rundown on the gear that we have. So just recently we've upgraded our gear to a new camera, a new gimbal, a new, a completely new setup that we're still trying to get used to. But before we say goodbye to the old equipment that served us so well for three and a half months, I'd just like to show you what we had before and what we're upgrading to. Our first setup was the Nikon D3300. This camera was great for me. I bought it five years ago. It's great for taking pictures. It was a good starter camera. It was not great for video though. It still came out with decent quality and we loved using it since I already had it, but it wouldn't really have been our first choice for video. With the kit lens, the 18 to 55 millimeter lens that comes with it, just very standard equipment. It served us very well, but we're going to put it to rest. Also with the Nikon D3300, we had a 55 to 200 millimeter zoom lens that we never really used. I used it for photography a little bit, but for video, we hardly ever used it. Instead of bringing a huge tripod with us on the trip, we decided to bring this Photo Pro tripod so the legs are bendy and set up into a nice shape. Unfortunately, we had a casualty. This leg broke, so we had to replace it with a new one. Now we got this Zecti which is basically the exact same thing, and Aaron actually already had it at home. So, thanks Aaron. For our action camera, we got the GoPro Hero 5 Black, and it has served us incredibly well. This thing is waterproof. It can shoot uh, 4K video. It can shoot 120 frames per second, so we can get slow-mo videos. And this handle we have right here with it is the GoPro handle, which floats and is durable in the water. The first setup we had for the GoPro was with a gimbal. This gimbal we absolutely loved. It stabilized our shots and we were able to get very fluid footage. However, on the last day of the Inca Trail, when we arrived to Machu Picchu, it broke. Rest in peace, gimbal. You served us well. It was actually a really good gimbal. I had it for about a year and a half. Um, it's a home gimbal. I'd highly recommend a gimbal like this for the GoPro. It worked very well. However, the fallback with the, with the GoPro is that the audio is terrible. You might notice that this audio is a little worse than uh, our normal audio, or it might be louder. The reason is because I'm shooting this on the GoPro, but I just wanted to quickly show you that our microphone, it's the Rode VideoMic Pro, and it's got a windscreen on it. This thing is fantastic. The only problem we have with it currently is that it's battery powered. So if you forget to turn it on, you're in big trouble. Or if the battery dies, big trouble. But we're still working on that. We've got two D batteries that fit for this and they're rechargeable, so we keep it going. But anyway, back to the good audio. The coolest part of our crew is our Mavic Air. Our drone shoots 4K video. It's unbelievable. It packs into the size of my hand. It only gets to about this big. It's very small already, but when I pack this guy in, one second, it literally fits in the palm of my hand. It's so small. Like, I, this thing is unbelievable. I'm so glad I got it. I actually got it through Let Go from somebody and it was an incredible deal. So three extra batteries, all the filters. It's amazing. GoPro with the gimbal and the Nikon D3300, that's where we shot 95% of our shots so far. We'd have good audio with the Nikon D3300, but we didn't have a gimbal for it. So we wouldn't have stabilization. We couldn't do 4K or slow-mo. With the GoPro, we can do slow-mo, we could do uh, stabilization at least when we had the gimbal, rest in peace gimbal. However, it had terrible audio, so we are always sacrificing something. We needed to make a change. We'll have to switch cameras to show you our new setup. So now for the new gear. I'm excited to introduce our new baby, the Sony A6500 in all its glory. It's beautiful, it's such an improvement for us because not only can this camera shoot 4K, it can shoot slow-mo, it has autofocus, the lens we got for it is 18 to 105 uh, millimeters. It's a beast of a lens, but it can zoom much further than our last lens, so we don't need two lenses. Um, not only that, it's just an updated version, higher quality video, we've already noticed. The autofocus works incredibly well. It's just a very reliable camera for video. So we're incredibly excited about mixing this into the rotation. I hope 
and videos coming up, you'll see an increased value in our quality. This is the Ziyun, I think I'm pronouncing it wrong, but it's Ziyun Crane version 2. This is how we stabilize the Sony a6500. So we can get stable shots just like we had with the GoPro when we had the gimbal. If you are interested in getting this, I highly suggest getting a quick release. We got the Manfrotto 323 RC2 quick release system. This system is great. It allows you to just quickly pop on, pop off your camera. So you can see I've got the other part on my camera. I've got the quick release here and I can just quickly pop it in and then it's ready to go. Usually it's got the external microphone on top, so right now it's not perfectly balanced. But once I turn on the gimbal, you'll see it kick into action. And now we can get balanced shots. So we can pan, we can do whatever. It's really, really great. Very useful equipment. It adds so much production value. It's going to be difficult to get used to. Um, it's definitely a big piece of equipment. We're gonna have to get used to carrying it around, but I think it's gonna really increase the quality of our videos and we're fully committing to this channel. So you can expect moving forward, we wanna put out two videos a week, but definitely every Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we've got a video coming out. So if you liked our videos so far, tune in Sunday, we'll have a normal travel video for you. In the comments below, if you like this video, you like seeing a little behind the scenes of what kind of gear we have and how we get by in our normal life, drop a comment below, let us know, and we hope to see you Sunday for our normal episodes. Thanks for watching.